Okay, let's get this started. Welcome everybody to Soul Recon! Okay, so for those of you who are here and who uh, don't know who I am, what am I doing? Why is this guy wearing a Soul Recon shirt and yelling? Oh, an orange shirt. Uh, I'm gonna start from the very far beginning. Hello everybody, my name is Carlos Moreno. I was born in Mexico in 1994, in June. I came to the United States when I was uh, 12, in 2006. Uh, I fell in love with animation, voice acting, and anything that I could. And uh, pretty much any sort of creative output, painting, drawing. And, but what really, uh, what really uh, shines to me is voice acting. I love to hear passionate voice acting and acting from different people. So definitely acting and voice acting are two of my major creative inputs. So, um, uh, 2009. Uh, I was on Newgrounds. I found these, all these different cartoons um, uh, that were beautifully animated. But one thing that really bothered me was the fact that some of the voice acting was just bad. They were like, oh no, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, the end. And it was just like, that sucks. I want to hear something like, he's really dying. I want to hear his passion. I want to hear, like, his legs broke. So, um, I made an account on Newgrounds. I did a voice acting demo reel. Most of my voices were very angry people to show my passion, my emotion. And just like this, this, this passion in the voice. Uh, and then we fast forward to 2000, 2011. I found ponies uh, early on in when the fandom began. And uh, I was watching an episode. And then I saw this commercial on another tab. And this video that you're about to see is what inspired the uh, thought of screaming pony songs. And this is what I saw that night of August 2011. So I watched this commercial, and I thought, hmm, what if this guy was a brony? <laughs> and he was just like excited for season two, because around that time, that was when season two was about to begin. And he's just like, Mommy! Put on My Little Pony! And Mom's like, okay, okay, jeez! And he just puts it on, and he's just like, My Little Pony! My Little Pony! Ah! And he just starts to like, scream along. And I thought that was the funniest thing ever. So that night, I went to my recording studio, or a car, it's a recording studio, but it's not a car. <laughs> and uh, I went ahead and recorded the uh, season one intro, and then I called it the season two. People clicked it, and it exploded, it had a lot of views. And this is the first, this is what begun the Solrax, the Screaming Pony songs. My Little Pony! My Little Pony! Ah! So, with that video... Oh, we're, we're having a Q&A at the end of the panel, if that's okay with everybody. If that's okay with this, yes, yes. Okay. Um, so, I, I, I uploaded this to uh, Newgrounds. It, it did really well. 10,000 views in like a week. Oh, holy Christ. It's PG, PG panel. Um, then I decided, oh, let's just put this on the Yamp Lab channel, where we make all our little videos with my brother and I. And BAM! It explodes. It got on EQD. It was featured on all these forums. People were talking about it all over Twitter. Oh my gosh! So, uh, I saw all of this, you know, all this feedback. And I decided to do another song. I did Hush Now, Quiet Now. I did At The Gala. And then I did So Many Wonders. And this guy on DeviantArt decided to animate the So Many Wonders song. Fully animated with Fluttershy just kind of being a little aggressive. And uh, that's what inspired the Solrack character. Because at some, during this time, this time period, there was no soul rack, orange pony screaming guy. It was just some guy that screams mother pony songs. <laughs> um, but this was the animation that ultimately inspired the character that we know as soul rack. What is this place filled with so many wonders? Casting its spell that I am now under! Squirrels in the trees and the cute little bunnies Birds fly free and the bees with their honey Honey! Oh, what a magical place and I owe it all to the banks 
is rage. If I knew the look crap, I'd see my jibbits lag. I'd come here sooner and never lag. Yes, I love a green So this guy sent me this animation on DeviantArt, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing, that's incredible, holy, oh my gosh. And uh, one, one frame that I saw from this animation that really stood out to me was this picture that he sent to me. It was kind of a teaser picture. <laughs> so there's something about this specific photo out of, out of that entire animation that really struck me. It's how expressive this pony is, how Fluttershy is just really, you can really feel how she's just, I don't know, happy or scared or... I don't even know. Psycho. Uh -huh. And so then I, 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 I told the guy, hey, uh, could you change the color scheme to, um, let's say, give him some black hair and uh, orange skin, like kind of a nice orange? He's like, sure. And that was the birth of Solrak. <laughs> so he sent me this. I was like, oh my god, that looks awesome. I've never seen anything like it. It's so cool. So I put together a bloopers video where I had a lot of... Um, you know, I'm screaming and I mess up. I'm like, oh man, I gotta try that again. So I wanted to have a thumbnail or an image playing throughout the entire thing. And I told this artist, hey, can you uh, draw Solrak um, eating a banana with, uh, I don't know, like a nuclear explosion in the background? It's like, sure thing. He drew this. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. I can't even draw that. I can't even imagine. Like, <laughs> Well, some people say it's a giant broccoli, but... <laughs> um, so at this point, it's, uh, it's 2012, and it's uh, February, and a new series came about. Do you guys know Bernie's React? Yes! So, um, the Bernie's React, a little bit about it. Uh, Mr. AC Racebest, he decided to um, get together a bunch of people from the community uh, that are known that have works that people know, put them together to respond to the teens react to My Little Pony, which the teens are kind of like a little narcissistic, a little over their, over their heads, a little hot-headed, and there's this one guy that stood above all of those to me, it was this guy who was like, kind of like a, a gangster, he had like all this bling on him, a hat, and like all this, all this stuff on him, and so I told him, oh, I need some art, this, this artist, I need some art of Soul Rag being a gangster, like this guy, he's like, oh, sure. <laughs> So just kind of poking fun at the guy, just, you know, having good, nice, nice, just, teens react, this is Solrak, the gangster. He's like, yeah, me in. <laughs> um, what's next? I forgot. Uh, oh, right, right, right. So, at this point, um, it's season two, I think, we're in midway season two, and uh, I, I was going to cover one of the longest songs, well, I guess today, which is Find a Pet. And I wanted to have a thumbnail that was different from the rest of the video, so that this would shine, because it was really good. So I told the artist, the same guy, hey, I need you to draw Soul Rack happily screaming his, his heart out, holding Rainbow Dash, and Rainbow Dash is kind of scared, a little confused, maybe not sure what's going on. She's like, oh, sure, here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this video has uh, the Find a Pet, is in fact the uh, most viewed video thanks to this frame. Uh, it's reached half a million views by now, which is awesome. I'm even gonna get to meet half a million people in my life, so that's just intense. Um, what's next? Oh, yes. So, now, uh, since the very beginning of making these Screaming Pony songs, they're a lot of fun to make. They're stress relievers, first of all. Um, but I knew since the beginning that these were gonna get old eventually. People were gonna be like, oh, it's the same thing again and again and again. So, mid-2012, I decided to start new projects. One of those was the uh, Soul Rack Adventures, an animated show featuring this orange pony that's so expressive. And uh, yeah, we're in the works. We have this guy named Creed from the UK who's animating, who's doing a bit of a development on the character, trying to work out with the uh, facial expressions. Uh, yeah, just kind of displeased, a little scared, a little crazy, just getting Soul Rack developed. And uh, we will have special guests on the show. One of them is Miss Rena Chen, who runs the coffee shop. Yes. She, uh, she told me, uh, you know, personally, that she's always wanted to run a coffee shop. So I decided to make her the coffee shop owner of the town that they live in. And Sol Rank gets hired because uh, he breaks the coffee shop. Uh, the script has been finished, and now we're just uh, 
you know, working on all the animation, but this is sort of the style that we're having. It's not going to be puppets, which just puppets, I, I think it looks too, too linear. It's the same thing all over again, just with different tools. But with frame-by-frame -frame animation, you can really achieve a new level of style. I mean, just look at that mouth. Holy crap. Oh, hey, sorry. <laughs> and another guest that we have on the show is none other than the Living Tombstone. <laughs> Tombstone will be providing his voice for the show. And uh, I went on Skype one day, and I told him all of this stuff. And he was really excited, but I was probably a little more excited than he was. To the point that I was yelling at him, like, you're doing this! And it's gonna be so cool! And I took a screenshot, and he actually doesn't know this, but, uh... <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> um, oh yeah, it's just like, it's like. <laughs> so this is a screenshot that we're kind of developing on how the show's gonna look like. So I really like the way that it's looking, the shadowing, the very expressionistic mouth of Solrak and the big eyes and. This is another character that's going to be playing uh, in the show. I don't even know if she's called Ready or something. And um, late 2012, me and Creed developed an animatic. And we colored it in. It's not fully animated, but this is sort of a sneak peek into what the show's going to be. Uh, and I want to show that to you guys, if that's okay. Yes? yes, yes. We premiered this at Equestria late 2012. It's the uh, teaser. Pretty much. Uh, 
at uh, I was gonna say Rob, uh, here at uh, Nightmare Nights, the uh, sort of compilation of all those pictures. If you wanna, we have a special deal for the Solar Adventures poster for five dollars. If you wanna buy one of those, uh, yeah. Um, we also have Solar Adventures and all that stuff, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so at this point, um, you know, developing new show, well, you know, a show. Uh, at this point, sort of the Screaming Pony songs are not as, you know, wanted as maybe the show, perhaps. But we are working on two different projects. And one of those is uh, a live-action series um, starring myself. It's called Soul Ratchet. And uh, I want to play the trailer for you guys of the project that we are currently in the making. This is a completely different project, but I think it still is awesome. This is the trailer for Soul Ratchet. Airplug Productions. A live action short film. Oh uh, yeah, it took, we built this from scratch, the storyline, all the choreography, all the uh, cameraman and everything, and uh, we recorded that in May, and I'm happy to announce that for the first time ever, we will premiere Soul Action right here, right now! So I'm glad that you guys liked it. First time. 
Yeah. This, this is not going to be uh, going up on the internet too soon. We still need to do like color correction. Yeah. <laughs> Even the kids love it. <laughs> um, okay, so going all the way back. So, Screaming Pony songs. We have the Solar Adventures animated web show. We have Solar Action live action series with all those cool special effects, which is awesome. And now another project, which is kind of a thank you to the fans. It's called Solar Quest. Um, I get a bunch of fan art of Solrek. Some of it is kind of scary, as you can see. Let me try to make that bigger. Holy, oh my gosh. <laughs> so very expressive. Uh, uh, kind of an anime Solrek, yeah. And uh, I like this one, the next one. It's kind of... Uh, I like the bunny's expression. <laughs> um, so, uh, that's just a bit of fan art, because I, I, I wish I could go through all of it, but I can. Solar Quest. Uh, I wanted to get back to the fans who drew all this cool fan art and sort of compile it into a video. But I thought it would be kind of boring to say, oh, I like this one because, I like this one because, and I like that one because. So instead of doing that, I decided to take all these different fan, uh, all these different fan art pieces and give it a storyline. It's hard to explain. So I'm just going to let it, uh, you know, the actual video talk for itself. This is Solar Quest. It's like seven minutes long. Seven minutes, seven minutes long, so... The think. following illustrations were drawn by fans! How do I wish to be royalty? What? No! 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 Hey, Solak. I am Godzilla Man! Godzilla? Godzilla Man! In space! What? <laughs> Where am I? Oh, I'm a human. Well, this is pretty cool. I mean, I am quite the hunk. I mean, just look at my eyes. I, I can be all artistic also, like... But I love being a human! Wait, no, no! This is not Soul Rack! This is Soul Rack! I guess I'm not cut out to be a human after all. I'm just gonna go back to being a pony. No! Wait! I'm Batman. <laughs> I heard you like screaming! So do I! Okay, my turn to go Mr. Sun! Guilty, what's it? What are you gonna do about it? I'm on fire! I am one with the fire! I am Fireman! I'm a freaking beggar! Why would you do such a thing? No matter! I will just have to grow up again! I shall use this megaphone! I am Solrad! And I dressed up my Hello! I need to train with the masters! Ready does it even go! Go, 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 Those guys were so cutesy, what's it? Alright, that's enough! Oh, check it out, man! Then you stole that mailing step! You can get free with a hat! You want one? No? Fine, man! Get a knife! This is how I get an A in my language class! I'm so smart! All I needed was so rich! And Flipstone! And Jack Split! And Glaze! And Mike! And Jack Lab! And Nerf! And Lost! And Billy Bro! And that guy! Hmm. I should be a little more professional! After all, it is my birthday! Oh! <laughs> now back to some business! Oh, it's lunchtime. <laughs> hey, Solrak! Hark! You must save us from Duma King! You got it! I must prepare for my battle! But what if I'm not good enough? Nonsense! I'm Solrak! Not Yapla! I shall kick Duma King! Use my bloody sword! And wear my power bracelet! Ah! That's not enough! I need a game plan! Don't so run it, Solrak! Here is the game plan! Where's the- ah! Bring it on, Duma! Oh, I am Duma King! Hey, Twilight! I found this doll! Is it yours? Ah, oh, thanks, Twilight! Welcome to the New Lunar Radio. Tonight, we interview Soul Rack about his encounter with Twilight Sparkle. With us tonight, Soul Rack. <laughs> Why am I a woman? <laughs> I'm rather sexy, aren't I? Whoops! I dropped my snowball! <laughs> Have you seen it? I don't even know anymore! I'm actually a Gary's mod! 
mod. No! I am a female Raichu! No! I am a blocky pony! Blocky? Whoa, that is so... Oh my god! Is that a... Is that a Tootsie Roll? Oh my god, everything's so real! Oh my god! All my best friends are here! Rena Chan and AC Race Best! Let me feel me still dusty! Sarah Spark, that guy. Oh my god. Meanwhile, in Ponyville. You little bunny! I'm so fucking happy! I made you just look at all the cute little bunny! I am Sasquatch Man! Where am I? Where the hell am I? Twilight, did you do this? Oh, hey! I found some socks and a gala suit. I guess I dressed up myself today. Well, my business isn't that bad. Now I shall troll other ponies. <laughs> <laughs> that was wonderful. Oh no, what have I become? I'm a monster. I want to go back home. Ah! Let's go! Wait, 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 wait! Before we go, this is going on the fridge for sure! <laughs> wait, here, Soul Red! Thanks! Do you wanna dance? Sure thing! <laughs> Soul Red! Oh, hi, I made you a song! Screaming Pony songs are not as, you know, requested, you know, since we have all this stuff. Um, and actually, uh, some people, I, th I don't think we have enough time. How much time? Guys, do we, how much time do we have in the back? How much time? Because I know we have a time limit, and there's still a lot of things to go. Well, while they find out, let's make the most of this time. Um, <laughs> Okay, so, uh, I can't play this one because it's too long. Um, there's a lot of animations. People take Solrak lines and they animate them, but I do want to make a special tribute to an upcoming animation that I'm part of. It's uh, Mr. Pika Pete. He's an incredible uh, animator, and he's working on this day and night for the, since uh, July. And uh, yeah, I just want to showcase it to you all. This is uh, Pika Pete's animation. That's all I can say. You'll find out uh, soon, I, I, I hope. He said, just play this at your panel. People, well, if you want to know what's going on, go to pikapd.telner.com. Tell them plug it, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we'll play these if we have enough time later. But, uh, something else. The Yap Lab. Uh, it's an app for the iOS and Android devices. It's a uh, soundboard. If, does anybody have it here? Uh, this is the Yap Lab on their Android devices? Okay, because I, I want to just like showcase it right here. It's a free app, 
no commercials, we're not making any money, it's just, uh, you know, a fun little thing to have. You can have a lot of lines from Solar Quest, from Solar Action, from Solar Adventures, all on your mobile device for free, and we're, we're, adding, const we're adding sales constantly. The way it's spelled out is uh, Yap Lab with an extra P at the end. Yap App. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We approve of fun right. here, sir. 20 minutes, okay. So yeah, it's like that, the Yep, you can get all these cool sounds. And I think you can also use, use it to, uh, as reference, since all these lines are very passionate and very angry. You can, uh, yes! So let's move on from there. Okay, so. Yes, I'll give it my way. Okay. Can I borrow that? <laughs> there you have it, everybody! Download the Apple app! Free! Only like two megabytes! <laughs> uh, okay, so, another thing. Uh, if you want to help support the production of all these videos, because they do take a lot of time to make, you can buy a Solrax shirt, and we have them for sale here at the Vetter Hall. I'm in somewhere in the middle. But don't let me tell you why. I have a commercial that will tell you why you should buy a Solrax shirt. Oh, goody. <laughs> now you can become the Soul Rack with the official Soul Rack shirt. Get the loudest shirt on the internet and make all your dreams come true. Buy a car. Out of my way, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Ride a unicorn! Giddy up, Sally! Come on! Let's go! I'll discover new lands! Well, you miss me, Mom. Marry your waifu! And all your wild dreams! Sign your independence! Sum it up! Save the world! <laughs> Buy the shirt! Yay! <laughs> so one really funny thing about it is that I probably bought too many shirts that I could handle. So I made this little short clip to sort of... Uh, we, we can take a look into the future. This would be me if I don't sell enough shirts in the, in, you know, the past few months. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying my shirt for a grilled cheese. <laughs> 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 you like how I did the solar fish? Just like you there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I guess we have enough time uh, to go over uh, some voice acting outside the pony community. Uh, most of the roles that I get are very angry people. For some reason, I don't know. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, this is a little bit of my voice acting. This is a little bit of a project. I played Iron Will in a cartoon. So yeah, the voice acting of myself. No, I'm sorry. You have the wrong number. This is Allmart. No, 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 no. You are wrong. This is the economy surplus store. Uh, I'm to randomly bid on items on eBay. <laughs> What is this? Um, hello up there. Hello there, my friend! I am Harrowbrin! Harrowbrin? Well, it's nice to finally meet you. So what brings you here? Oh, what was that? I think I stepped on something! You stepped on a ditto! <laughs> oh, disgusting! Damn! I hate it all! One of the guys had the girl. I knew I had to go after her. Hi! Colgate here, and I want to tell you about my brand new toothpaste cannon. Here with me today is the number one motivational spokes pony in all of Equestria, Iron Will! If some pony doesn't brush, show it who gets crushed! I love this! <laughs> It sure is hot in here. Holy! A talking muffin! Welcome, <laughs> skaters! From all across the land! To the 97th annual Thomas Skateboarding Competition! 
grab my head. No! How about you, Bernie? You want anything? Ah! Hey, dude! What up, man? It's time to rock! Alright, so who hit you exactly? I'm not sure. It could have been anyone, really. So it was a hit and run? Yeah, pretty much. I was crossing a busy eight-lane freeway at the time. You really need to cool down! <laughs> Just you wait, sister. I was only being courteous. Being a woman and all that. Don't hold back on my account, hon. Wasn't planning on it! You're slow. I'm a kid. That was pretty clever. Thanks. But we're not through yet. Epic rap battles of Equestria! <laughs> Aaron Will! This is Zephyra! Voice acting and other work. Uh, I think we have like five, six minutes left. Let's say six. Six, not five. We have, we need that extra minute. Yes. Uh, okay. All um, minutes. Somebody in the audience brought me a song just now. Yes, over here. And uh, yeah, let's play that. I, I have no idea. He just told me to play the song. Let me for you. Let's listen. <laughs> What's the name of the song again? Uh, I just named it Songrack. Songrack! <laughs> okay, so I think with the remaining uh, five minutes that we have, we can open up Q&A if anybody wants to ask a question. Yes, over here. Do you want a letter? Yes! <laughs> give me, give me, letter. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. When you feel down, keep looking, keep looking up. Love, Derpy. Thank you. Okay, so Q and A. Anybody else? Yes. Oh, okay. How are your vocal cords not destroyed from all the wonderful screaming you did? 
Um, oh, cool. Two questions in one. Uh, uh, I think after doing it for such a long time, I think my like I built muscle on my. <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible, but uh, yeah, I think it's just a lot of uh, good maintenance. When I finish recording, I make sure to have a lot of a, a good break, drink a lot of water, and just do a lot of warm up. I warm up about thirty minutes just singing and doing like a ha ha, you know that stuff. Oh. Yeah. So is it like how Chuck Norris has another fist in his beard? You have another one in your throat. <laughs> There's another mouth in my throat. Yeah, it doubles the power. Um, any more questions? Yes? How does Solar, uh, Solar Quest 2 go in? Solar Quest 2, good question. So, that first Solar Quest one that we just watched was all the fan art that I can find on Twitter, DeviantArt, most of it came from DeviantArt, um, I don't know, Facebook, people were linked to Facebook. Uh, that was 96 pictures of fan art. And you know, at the end I said, oh, if you have fan art, I'll find it. That was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, because um, Solar Quest 2 has currently hit over 500 pieces of fan art. Oh my goodness, that's like the Solar Quest the movie, I think. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. but uh, the reason why it's not out yet is, is because uh, I need to, I don't want to disappoint anyone, because I know everybody's like, yeah, I want my, my piece to be on Solar Quest, but you know, some of them are not going to make it in, just because they're not in the right context, or for whatever reason. So that's been a tough decision to, but it, it's happening. Uh, that's actually, Solar Quest 2. Uh, with a per <laughs> with the completion of Solar Action, Solar Quest 2 is now in production. Yes. Yes. yes, I am very good at Smash Brothers. I've been playing since I can remember. Mm -hmm. I think they have like a little game station over there. But uh, yeah, over here. Oh, what was the name of that song where you're yelling one, two, three, four? Oh, it's called. Uh, I should I should say that it's um. Eardrum. It's the bonus track once you buy the uh, Solar Hound Bass Cannon EP. You can find it on Deep Dan uh, Bandcamp. And it's a special bonus track. It's not featured on there. It's, it's bad. <laughs> okay, one more question. What's the all the whole grail of question? Who's been having their like arm up for a while? Okay, this guy. Alright, uh, you're almost pep shop screaming one. Did you work with Chris Leather to make a, like, a short song? Yes! Is that ever going to become a real song? I love listening to that. It's just so hardcore. Uh, yeah, it was uh, the Crush song. Once I heard it, I was like, ah, yeah, this is... It's like, he's like, Crush! I got a new Crush! And, uh, yeah, I, I did cover it. Uh, so, what I mean, exactly? Like, you know when he brings in the guitar when he starts getting really hardcore and uh -huh. he's like, surprised? Is that going to become a full song? It can, if I ask him to. Oh, my God. Shall I? I, I shall. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I think that wraps up Soul Request. I mean, Soul Recon, guys, did you enjoy the panel? <laughs> Can you say best panel ever? <laughs> yeah!